This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. So I will show you how to do it. I've just got a demo template up here, but um, what I would do is um, I would add it in the page um, header injection rather than in the CSS because you don't want it to do it to all your things. Um, so you can just put this up. Words. I'm just putting rough so just to kind of see where we're at, and then you can just readjust it. Um, top uh, let's have a look. So, I mean, you're just going to have to play with the margin a bit there. So you can maybe take a bit off, but you would find it like this. So you had field list in and the wrapper. So the first one was form wrapper. Um, you want to make the width, whichever width you want. And then you would call on form wrap and the field list would be the field. And then you're going to add the button to the left or to the right. So you want it to float left. Um, so, yeah. And that shouldn't affect the forms on another page. Let's see. Maybe add a form here and just check it out. Worked. Yeah. So just did it for that one. Um, hope that helps. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.